In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a virtual bundle inside of Amazon Seller Central. My name is Manolia Petropoulos. I've been helping brands increase their ROAS and their conversion rate for the last six years. So here we are inside of Amazon. We're gonna come up to the menu button. We're gonna come down to brands and then we're going to click virtual bundles. This is going to open up a, a listing creator for your virtual bundle. So the first step is we're gonna click this blue button here that says add products. We're going to find two products. The first one you add is gonna be your main component. So make sure that it's the higher priced item or the main product. And then you add the side products or the, the accessories after that first one. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna find my first product right here as the main component. And then I'm going to add my accessory as the second product. I'm just gonna add that to the bundle. Only two products in the bundle I'm making right now. Um, but you can add, I believe, up to five. So um, once you're done, you come up here to this top blue button, done adding products, make sure you click that. And now you'll see products in the bundle and you'll see this green button here, main component. Now, we're gonna add the images. So I'm gonna click this here and it's gonna open up an upload and I'm gonna select my main image for this bundle. So as you can see here, that main image uploaded and I uploaded a main image that has all the components of the bundle inside of the image. Highly recommend you make that custom main image as well, showing everything inside the bundle. Now, for our additional images, you can see here, one through eight, we can either upload a new image by clicking any of these numbers, or we can just click these images here from the other two listings, listing images, and we can just populate using those images. But uh, I'm gonna click these dots here to remove that. I'm gonna first upload image that shows everything inside the bundle. It's a custom main image for this listing. And before I upload, just to show you what that looks like, this is the basic listing image I'm gonna put in that second position, which is the first additional image. And I highly recommend you make something like this as well. It just adds a ton of clarity for the customer and they know exactly what they're getting in this bundle if they're gonna spend more on it. So as you can see, that additional image populated right here. And now I'm just going to select images from the other listings and have those populate. So I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna click this, 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 and we've got one more, let's go with this. Okay, great, now I'm gonna hit save, and I've got all my images done. Now, on the right side here, we've got all of our details. So title, shortened title, this is just going to appear on your listing page, you know, on the main components listing page where it shows bundles included with this item. It's gonna be a little variation there. It's gonna have a shorter title. That's what that is for. Your bundle price, I'd recommend, you know, if you're launching a bundle, discount it at least 5%, ideally 10%. You wanna get sales velocity on this so you can get reviews. You can't enroll these in Vine, so the bigger your discount, the more people are gonna buy, and, you know, it's gonna increase your ability to get reviews. Then add a description, bullet points, and a unique SKU. The important note about the SKU is that you can't change it once you make this bundle. So make sure that the SKU that you choose is something that you're going to be okay with keeping forever. So I'm going to add this information right now. So as you can see, all my information has been added here. And then I'm just going to come up to this big blue button that says save and publish. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click confirm. And now I have a virtual bundle on Amazon. That should show up within your manage inventory page within a few minutes. And that virtual bundle is now also going to appear on your main components listing page, sort of as a variation, but not exactly. It's going to say bundles included with this item. And now you'll have an option for customers to increase their average order value, spend a little bit more using that bundle option. And it's no additional work for you. Uh, they're just, Amazon's gonna bundle those together at FBA. So. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, give me a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you want more videos like this in your feed, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.